Probably couldn't tell, but this is uh, Dude Reviews. I'm your trusted advisor, but I'm wearing a trucker hat. And we're in a different location. This is what I do for my day job. I'm no longer in my parents' basement. We're moving up in the world, so no, now we got a little more light and out of the, uh, the darkness of the, the, the uh, blunder underneath the house. So what, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay. All right, we'll get right into it. This is Dude Reviews, and what we do is that we review cool stuff. So I buy some things that I think are cool, I like. There's not a lot of reviews on there. It's a lot of that bullshit online stuff where people just write five stars for everything. So I'm gonna give you my personal review of these things that may not be a household brand, so you know, hey, is it right for you? So we'll get right into it. Okay, today we're reviewing the Viore Core Short. It is one of their core items in their ensemble of California-based athleisure wear. So I'm wearing them today. They're very kind of gym shorty, but with like kind of hybrid of uh, board shorts. And so they got the drawstring here. They have a nice little fit to them. Not too long, not too short. They have pockets, contrasting pocket on the back. I'm not gonna show you, but there's liner on the inside. Whether you like it or not, I've been told if you cut it out, if you don't like it, it still works well. So the core short. Uh, what's the unique selling point of the core short? It's like their penultimate workout short. It's super stretchy, it's soft, they have a shit ton of patterns, there's a lot. Uh, sometimes it's hard to keep them in stock, you can't find them. Um, it's overall just great fitting workout short uh, without a lot of the fluff, but it has a lot of the essential stuff to it. Uh, Mitch, you tried them on. Uh, Mitch is behind the camera, he's helping me out now. What did you think about these shorts when you put them on, just compared to all the shorts you've tried? I was a big, big fan. They they really fit like a glove. You know, I haven't tried a lot of Viore. But they're shorts, and they should fit like shorts? Yeah, they fit like shorts that fit like a glove on your hand, but on your legs. Glove shorts? Yes, glove okay, good. shorts. Yeah. Um, I've tried a lot of Roan and Lululemon shorts in the past, mm -hmm. and these were very comparable, I thought. Especially one of my favorite Lululemon shorts is the shorts, T-H-E shorts. I don't get it. Uh, yeah, most people don't. But uh, I thought they were very comparable to that short. Okay, so comparable to these short. Um, yes. And those are always out of stock, and these ones are more accessible. These ones, yes. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into pros and cons, new parts. So pros and cons, these are bros and cons. And Mitch, feel free to chime in and add anything as we go along. So okay. the bros or pros is, I think these fit well personally. Uh, for me, these are a little small. I got the, the medium. I would like um, probably an extra medium or a marge. I think large would actually fit better for me. What size waist do you usually? I'm a 33. I'm a 33 okay. waist. So like it was a tweener where I feel like the mediums were a little too small for me because I got some thunder thighs. So this is for later. But we're gonna go straight in the squat test. So here's the squat test. All right, a few more times. You see it from the side. Here's the problem. Ready? I mean, this is great. I can in the gym, but only people can handle that for so long, right? So I don't want to show off. I have to keep doing this. So with the thunder thighs, the medium is a little extra medium. So I need to go with the Marge, the large. They don't have Marge, but I think like, there's a brand that does. I think it's a marine layer, shout out. Um, the large would be better for me. They still fit, but doing this all the time is a pain in the butt. But if you have some uh, peg legs or you know some chicken legs, whatever you want to call them, it probably would work for you. They work overall just a little bit too tight. I'd like to go for the large, which I, I believe would be a little longer, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, other pros, it is super stretchy. I think it's like 11 ways stretch. Um, I do like the drawstring, the kind of chill vibe that they have going on. I like this style better than Lululemon. It does tie really nicely like a hockey lace and it stays in place, right? You can do that and you can even undo it and kind of let it hang. Um, I like the contrasting style to it. So this is like one of their heathered, uh, I don't know, some sort of twill it's called. So it's got a nice little pattern to it. It's like a gray white contrasting waistband, stretchy as you'd expect. I do like the contrasting butt pocket. I would prefer a zipper, but I get it. Not everyone likes zippers. This is just a little like Velcro thing. But I guess for true workout shorts, you don't really need a zipper, right? You just, you may not even put anything in your back pocket. I think it's more of a style point than anything, so that's fine. Mm. But overall, super light. The liner, I'm not a liner guy, but this liner is decent at least. Um, it doesn't ride up too much. It kind of stays where it should. 
I personally like liners are a little longer and they make a Stockton short that does that where the liners are a little longer than the short, but I haven't tried those yet. So maybe future dude review. Um, but overall, I think great training shorts. I should have gotten a little bit bigger of a size. So those are the bros. Now, what are the cons? Mitch, I, I'm not sure about cons. I think maybe the sizing, um, for me at least, that's being yeah. picky. Um, I think a zipper on the back pocket, um, maybe, I don't know, I don't want to get too finicky. Just, just as a reference, you're a size 33, I'm usually a size 32. Yeah. I thought they fit. You trying to say I'm fat? I thought they fit phenomenal. You trying to say I'm fat? I have Mitch ass thighs, so they weren't hugging too much on me. Okay, yeah. Um, but as far as cons, I only wore them for a good 15 oh. minutes, but I wanted, I wanted <laughs> oh. to go for a run in them. They were so comfortable. Yeah, right. So I, there we go. That's another bro is that they're versatile for working out as in weightlifting, strongman, running, CrossFit, yoga, underwater basket weaving, all those different activities. I think they're a very versatile shorts. That's a nice part. And you could actually swim in them. I wouldn't ideally do that, but you could. Yeah. So I think that's another bro or many bros. Uh, for me, the cons, I don't know, not too many. Even the price, I think they were like, what, 70 bucks, something like that? They weren't too expensive. Are they, I think. Are they comparable to the, the other mainstream brands? Yeah, I would I say comparable, so. nothing too extreme above or below. Maybe a little cheaper, I'd say, than Roan and um, the Lulu's. But just, it's just bro out. So anyway, so the cons, I don't know, there's not many too many cons. Can you think of anything else? I think they're great shorts. I was caught off guard because I never really gave this brand a try. It always, yeah, it's always in my Instagram feed, you know, with ads. And I'm like, all right, ignore this. You know where they pop up too? It's Gmail. It's bizarre. So after you watch this video, look at your Gmail and you'll get like ads in Gmail for your viewer as well. Big bros. Kind of pop big, up everywhere. Big bros watching you. Big bro. Big bros watching you. Okay. So then that was bros and cons. And then we did the squat test already. So we're going to do the cheek check. What's the cheek check, Mitch? You came up with this. Go ahead and show me that booty. If you want to see this, right? And then... Yeah, so this bro over here already mentioned how they're a little tight on them. So yeah, you can see, yeah, it kind of squeezes a little bit. So if you were at the gym, he would definitely be that workout guy where you're like, dude, come on. Those shorts are way too tight. But you can see how versatile they are. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> so just from the outside looking in, I feel like a large would be perfect for you. Yep, and you can tell. Look at that. Thigh yeah. check. Yeah, they're hugging. They're hugging. Hugging's right. good for the pool, but for the gym, it's kind of borderline. All right, now to move on. This damn thing keeps flipping around here. Okay, does this, this look okay? A little hairy chest, a little cabbage coming out. I love it. So for the final verdict. It's the final! Verdict. What do we say, Mitch? What do we give these? Mm, I'm giving it a... We have, we have two thumbs, right? I have two thumbs. You have two thumbs. So how many thumbs do we give this? I'm, I'm contributing... I'm going to give one and three quarter thumbs. Okay. See, I was going to give a full two thumbs. So, so that means we have four and three quarters, right? And two... Where's your other thumb? You don't want to know. Okay. All right. Let's just keep it away there. Okay. Keep it where, where it belongs. So we give it three and a three quarter thumb. So high level, I think with value overall, great value. You get a great workout short. That's mostly for working out, but still looks good. There's a lot of different designs and colors and stuff, which I think is great quality price. Great. Uh, another thing, my wife really into the anti-human trafficking stuff and quality materials. So they do have a thing on their website about, Hey, we're not pushing all this stuff to some like child ch Chinese factories, wherever it may be. So they do hopefully source to good, uh, or source from good sources. That's another positive, um, well-priced. It has more of a chill vibe than that kind of very overly modern kind of almost weird Lululemon uh, deal there. Roan's very slick. Some stuff is almost like too Cali, like Marine layer, yeah, like you don't old have to school work 70s. At, you don't have to work out in front of a mirror to wear these. Yeah. Yeah. These are, these are chill. I like chill. These are very dude and bro. I think I'm a big fan of Yuri. I like what they're doing. They're growing great stuff. I'm going to do more reviews of this stuff because I have a crap ton of Yuri stuff that I really want to review because I like Pretty much everything. I mean, you've got some stuff too, Mitch. Like overall, what do you think of the Viore brand? I was, I was caught off guard. Big fan of these shorts. I just tried them today. Um, but the shirts that you turned me on to, I forget the name of them, but super, super soft. You can work on, wear them as an everyday 
shirt or even as just a workout shirt. It was perfect. The shirt? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's many, there's many was, shirts. Uh, do you remember which one? I think it was the Strato Tech T. I yes, don't know. That sounds familiar. Yeah, it was. We can me. cut this out if we're wrong, but for sure. The trade win was more the workout one. The Strato Tech you could work out in, but I actually like it more as less I super it. hot as balls weather. Yeah. And you're out sweating your yarbles off, and you can still like wear a decent t-shirt that has moisture wicking to it. Absolutely. So because it's super soft, I love sleeping in it, and the Ponto stuff too, super soft. But there's a con there with the Ponto. That's for, this is a cliffhanger, this is for a later episode. Ponto short, phenomenal short, softest things ever. But there is a con. Until next time. This is Dude Reviews, where we review non-household name stuff, premium apparel, mostly for men, maybe women moving forward, or days. I'm um, down to try whatever. Yeah, down for whatever. Where we buy stuff ourselves, review it, give you an honest review, because everything online, they fish for those reviews, five stars here and there, blah, blah, blah. We give you our honest review so you know, hey, is this something for you that you should buy? So if you like this stuff, let us know. Um, you should follow our channel. I think you hit subscribe. There's a button there. Hit subscribe. Like this video. Hit the little bell ding-linger, and that will tell you when we release new videos about other stuff we've purchased and tried out, so you can get our opinion on it and know, like, hey, is this is this the stuff or what? All right, anything else? Stuff or what? Do you have your? Do you have like an outro? I mean, I that was pretty good. What's the good better outro? Uh, I just didn't know if you had like a one-liner. I don't. We should come with an outro, a one-liner. Yeah. Right. We're still coming with an outro one-liner. We'll get there. Next right. time. Another clip.